Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, so I have the tonic craft kit reveal for you. <laughs> and this is kit number 78. Uh, I haven't taken everything out because, well, I just haven't got that far. But this is kit number 78 and it is called the Jam Pot Gift Card. So this is going to be a very cool little card that you make looks like a little jam pot and then I believe this bit lifts up and you can add your gift card to it <laughs> so this is oh, there you go that shows you how it sort of works obviously you could put a hidden message in there instead if you didn't want to give a gift card so I will put this off to one side as you know um, I like to read this off to make sure I tell you the right thing but you will have to bear with me <laughs> So for this kit we do get another craft binder. Um, the idea behind this is that your stamps and dies that come in this little pocket each month, and we'll go through those in a minute, um, they, I think about three or four, I can't remember how many, I think it's three, will fit in here um, and this will be your dies for that month and the stamps that come with it. And there is a little sticker which you could put on the front of each of these if this is how you want to store them. So every month you get your little sticker. So you could pop that on the front there and then you'll know which kit this is for, which die set this is. Um, I don't do that, I do different things. <laughs> I store mine differently. Um, but that's what these binders are. I do have another video on how I use these for my stencils. Um, so I will... I remember to link it I'll link it but otherwise they're in my organization uh, playlist on YouTube so um, you get another binder every I want to say every third kit so about three of them will fit in here I think that's how it works you get another binder so we have that we have the stamps and dies and like I say a little sticker so the stamps and dies are cool jam pot gift card die set and stamp set. So the stamps are these cute little little stamps. <laughs> um, one that looks like a little banner that says from me to you. It's a couple of strawberries. Uh, you deserve this. It's kind of like a round like a medallion kind of thing that I guess if you put a plain piece of cardstock or it's probably in the kit already. <laughs> you could then stamp that and put that over the top of this so that you put the new sentiment over the top or just a flower so um, that's one stamp there but you could make it work so that you still have the border either side but a different sentiment you can do that and then these are the dies and there are instructions on how to put these together that looks kind of complicated but <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see when we make this um, I can't imagine it will actually be that complicated but <laughs> but these are the dies um, and you've got some decorative panels that will go on the main parts of the dies this one looks like it would fit in between these two size wise there's another decorative piece and another one again to layer on that one which then I assume fits on this one and that will create almost like a stopper because you'll have layers of cardstock to stop it going all the way through um, as well as these tabs on the side there's some more um, there's a plain round circle here and then some decorative ones that you could um, die cut your sentiments this one uh, that might still be a die, I'm not sure actually. It looks like it's got a die cut edge. I will have to look at that because that almost looks like a foiling plate. But don't quote me on that. <laughs> and then you have the pocket. This is a handy size pocket. You could use this on anything. I wonder if this will fit on the lawn fawn critter, woodland critter huggers. If you don't have the pocket that goes with it, that might fit. I will check that out. And then this is what I'm assuming is going to be what you would use to create your channel for your... your um, gift card to sit in within the little card and then there's some strawberries um, there's a couple of die cut strawberries and then the these dies I think and this one will die cut the strawberries here and these circular pieces oh there is actually a die here 
to die cut this sentiment as well. So the dies and the and the stems they're they're really well thought out, thought out. Can't talk, um, which is why we love them. <laughs> so so um, yeah, they're always well thought out and um, very clever once they're put together as well. So this month you also get a random piece of cardboard. No, <laughs> you also get a little Tonic Studios notebook. Um, I love how it's got orange edges, <laughs> but I think it's just a plain, and like I say, I haven't opened everything, but I think it's just a plain little notebook, but I think that's really cute. That's nice and handy for your handbags or your, um, you know, writing ideas down for videos or future projects and stuff. <laughs> your favorite channels like this one, I'm <laughs> just saying. Um, so you have that. You have, I've not used this before, this is strawberry Frappe, is that right? <laughs> I don't know if I've said that right. This is Nouveau Chalk Mousse. Now, I don't believe I've used the Chalk Mousse before. So, this is going to be a cool thing for me as well, because I've not used this one. And then along with that, you get one of the little blending brushes. Now, again, I've never used these ones. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of the of like really old school shaving brushes. <laughs> um, that might have been the inspiration behind them. Um, but it's quite a, like a tough bristle sort of thing. Um, but it's to use that to in your mousse and then onto your projects. Um, either through a stencil or just straight on your paper. This could give some good texture anyway because it's kind of like a rough bristle if that makes sense. So you get those two. And I am kind of doing this back to front because normally I do the paper first, but anyway. Then we have a crystal drop in red berry. And this is like a... I mean, it's a red berry. It's kind of got a strawberry feel. Like the camera's not picking that up, but it's kind of got like a strawberry color feel. If that made any sense. Uh, and this is a gloss drop. So a lot of them are more, you know, glitters or um, that kind of thing, or stone drops, that sort of thing. This one's a gloss one. And then we have crystal glaze, and I'm so happy I have this. <laughs> <laughs> in this kit because I'm running out of mine. Um, so this is the crystal glaze which is literally a clear um, kind of like this but not <laughs> it's like a thinner version of this but with no color in it so it creates it's kind of like a glossy accent if you know what glossy accents is so it creates this beautiful shine on your um, you know project so you can highlight certain areas like eyes or um, hearts or stars or whatever it is and it just gives once it's dry it gives this beautiful shine and a little bit of dimension nothing major on the dimension part um, but it's very cool stuff and I use it all the time then we have the paper which comes in a handy uh, carrier thing let's try not to blind you to which way this goes <laughs> Oh, there we go. Right, so let's see if I can get this right. Oh, is this shiny stuff in here as well? So we have, oh, that's pretty. So we have some classic card in rose pink, uh, sea salt green, ballet pink, avocado green. I think that's avocado. I want to say that's the avocado. Then we have a mirror card in silver, spring silver. Then we have a mirror, then we have a what? <laughs> a hollow waves. Oh, sorry. I've done this the wrong way around. This is this spring silver, which is like a, like a satiny green kind of color. And then this one, which I'll try not to blind you. You can see a bit of rainbow there. It's called a hollow waves. And it's like a silver mirror. And then we have I do not have that. We have a smooth ivory, and there should also be a. Oh, there it is. It was hiding. There's also a pearlescent white. Pearl white, I think it's called. So, yeah. It was hiding. So, these are the colours. Now, again, this looks more. I'm not sure what colour this looks like on screen, but it's more of a pinky red kind of strawberry think strawberries springtime that kind of thing oh so pretty so that's the kit guys um i hope this these you know little reveal 
if that's what we're calling them, reveal kind of um, videos that are helpful and, and fun for you guys. But this is the new kit. I'm actually excited about this one because this is really pretty and I just think it'd be kind of fun to make some stuff. And like I say, you can use this for other things. It doesn't have to be a gift card. You could do secret messages and stuff like that. Make a whole series of these for, for your loved one at Valentine's Day. Just saying. Or anniversaries. You could do the same sort of thing. Anyway, so that's the kit number 78. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Hopefully sooner than we think. <laughs> Until next time. Bye for now.